everybody, JCB here with The Awesomest, and you're watching The Awesomest YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be teaching you how to do a custom MP3 ringtone on your Android phone. The reason I'm making this video is because I was actually looking for a similar video for a friend of mine so I could show him how to do custom ringtones on his smartphone, but I couldn't really find anything I was happy with. A lot of the videos on YouTube have really poor footage, usually somebody just pointing a camera at their phone in a dark room, or the narration is really bad, sometimes they leave out key details of information that's really needed if you don't know what you're doing. So I decided, hey, I have a YouTube channel, maybe I should just film this myself, put it up there, that way I can give it to my friend. One of the things about Android is depending on which version you have or who manufactures your phone, things might look a little bit different, but bear with me, most of the stuff is absolutely the same no matter what phone you're using. I will be using the Nexus 5 by Google. It's running the newest version of Android currently available for the Nexus 5, and I'm going to teach you step by step how to do everything you need to do to get a custom ringtone on your phone. Also be sure to stick through to the end of this video because I do have a channel announcement that you might be interested in. I want to also apologize about all these jump cuts. I didn't really have a whole lot of time this week, so bear with me. The first thing you want to do is make sure your phone is connected to your PC using the USB cable or use a micro SD card if your phone happens to have a micro SD expansion slot. Next, make sure your phone is connected as a media device, as you can see here at the bottom. To do this, simply go to your settings, then scroll down to storage. In the top right corner, you'll see this line of three dots. Select that and you'll see USB computer connection. Then you'll have two choices. You want to make sure this top checkbox is marked. This will allow you to connect your phone to your PC as a USB storage device. Once your phone is connected or your micro SD card is in its slot, simply navigate to your device or card and select internal storage. A bunch of folders will load and one of them is the ringtones folder. This is where you want to copy your files. Simply find the file you want and drag it into the ringtones folder. You'll be given a notice asking if you want to copy this file, just say yes. It should be noted here that not all media file formats are compatible with Android, though AUG, Vorbis, and MP3 definitely are. If you have a song but you don't know how to make it in MP3, the best thing to do is to download a free and easy piece of software like FreeMake Video Converter. This software will allow you to convert any type of video to any other type of video format and also a few audio formats. So just drag your WAV or whatever into this program, select MP3, and render it out. This is an older version of FreeMake, the new version might look a little different, but basically the end result will be the same. Once you have that ready, just drag the file from your folder onto your phone or SD card and you'll be ready to go. Once the file is copied, you can use a free app like File Explorer to make sure that it's on your device. Then simply go back to Settings, Sound and Notifications, Ringtones, and the new ringtone should be listed. Simply select it and press OK. So that should be all you need to have a custom ringtone on your Android phone. If you have a comment or a question, I'll be happy to answer the ones I can. Just leave a comment down below. Also, big channel announcement. I had a lot of fun making this video and I decided I'm going to start doing something I'm going to call Tutorial Tuesdays, in which I'm going to teach you something and really I'm going to be learning how to do it myself. I'm going to find a tutorial online and then I'm just going to film myself trying to do it and explain the process as I go along so we can kind of learn together as we try to do something that I probably shouldn't be trying to do. So look forward to that. I'm going to try to get the next one up by next Tuesday. If not, it'll be the Tuesday after that. But uh, I'm going to definitely try to go for this Tuesday. We're going to do a cool tutorial together and we're going to see how it goes. I mean, who knows? Be sure to check out my last video, which was the five manliest ways to cook meat. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep being awesome.